first personal ball dunk it. There we go, Dr. T. The uh, uh, second quarter, uh, neither team uh, committed a foul in that entire period. Ngayon, tig-apat ang uh, veterans at ang RSJ. Oops! Okay. Kabla yan. Paano yan? <laughs> yan, tira ulit. <laughs> yan, mahirap yung ginawa niya. Ito oh. mo, ginigive me five. Yan, kahit magdawag mong gawin niya, oh. di mo mahalagay yan dyan eh. Mahirap po stop ball sa, ba sa basketball. Ano, isa na lang? Ano yun? Bintis yun? Hindi ba tabla yun? Quits, quits. Isang billiard, tabla yun. Oo. Ayun. O, ayun niyo. Huwag niyo. Dito na lang ako yung score. Sabi ni Noli. Oops, oops. Sabi ni Ojo. A bit too eager. Yes. Must show a little bit more patience there. 83-67. Benji Paras, power drive. Wala rin. DJ File to Carriasso. Here's Noli Loxin. This is what he likes to do. Noli Loxin! About two seconds differential between game clock and shot clock here in the third quarter. 83 to 69 is the count. Alan Tedic fishing on the drive. Would have been a nice pass, but it's reflected by Benji Paras to Dean Dupumaran. Alan Tedic, three point shot. Yeah! Although he lost out to Joey Guano in the three point shot competitions earlier. And uh, that ups the lead again for it's shot to start the fourth quarter. Nice play set up by them because they asked Francisco to throw in the ball to uh, mm -hmm. Carriasso who had that mismatch. And when the double team came, Cari Francisco moved off to a good three-point shot. Actually, uh, Jose Francisco is leading uh, the league in uh, three-point shot scored. Carriasso, nice play down the middle. And quickly, the uh, RSJ team has gotten themselves back into the yeah. ball game. They're just down by a dozen points. And only a minute gone by here in the fourth and final quarter. Well, you na alala, mabot sa 25 kanina ang lamang ng mga veterano. Pero medyo mas tougher and defense nitong mga white shirt players right now on the floor. As I told, gets Francisco out of the way, pero hindi niya nakuha yung pasa. Alan Kaidek missing from the outside. Chris Jackson has the rebound for the RSJ, but a bad pass. And that's another thing that has hurt the rookies RSJ team is the turnovers, which the veterans have been able to convert. Yes. 86-74, balik na naman sa 12. Ang abante ng mga veterano. Jerry Coutinera, hindi pa rin bumabalik okay. dito sa ballgame. Arto Agustin. Yes. Alam ko may mga laro yan sa linko. Yan ay sa Martes. Oh, Martes, pero... oh. <laughs> Oops. Ang big na nabaking. Boy, Jeffrey Carriasso trying to get it back. And he apologizes to Dito Pumare as he is called for the loose ball foul. Alam mo, mahirap talaga ang uh, role ng coach ng ganito mga all-stars. Eh. Ika nga, eh, walang tulak kabigin eh. Lalo na pag uh, magaganda rin ang laro ng uh, mga first six, seven players. No? Uh -oh. You're supposed to use the starting five. Pag maganda rin ang laro, mm -hmm. mahirap na talagang palitan. Hawkins is up against Jackson. Uh, nice play. The Alan Kaidiko scores underneath. 90-74. Balik na naman sa 16. Ang abante ng mga veterano. 9 minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the All-Star game. Jose Francisco. Parito ngayon si Carriasso. Binigay ulit kay Francisco. Running shot by Jose Francisco. Then have to respect this player in the future. He has a variety of shots. And yes. his long range is really something... Uh, Worthwhile to look at. We have a case of illegal defense on file. That's correct. They lang po nagatawagan ng illegal defense and EJ File knew it. EJ File for illegal defense. So a reset shot clock here for the veterans. Ali will play back door. Good block. Yeah. Chris Jackson stayed with Benji Paras there. Here's Jose Francisco. Francisco, kaliwang ayun ang sinasabi mo, ang daming tira nitong si Jose Francisco eh. May labas, may loob, may drive pa. Saka he keeps his concentration on the ball, yes. the ball game and he makes a move. He can make a lot of errors, turnovers because he's still young. But later on, they're gonna have to respect him. Nice block there by Jackson, anticipation. Yes. Here's Carriasso. Jose Francisco, missing that one and Benji Paras gets it for the veterans. Here is... 
Kanan kay Dick. Uy, medyo... <laughs> Ano nangyari doon? He was trying an alley-oop for Nelson oh. as I told him. Nelson never jumped. Yeah. Benji Paras with a tap. Cariasa tried to take it away. And referee De Leon decides it in favor of the white shirt. Got a three-man substitution here for the RSJ. Jericho Diniera, by the way, is back for the veterans. Loxin file and Cariasa go out as Espino Evangelista and Victoria come in. Well, those guys did their share, so now let's yeah. see these guys do their share to try to get themselves back into the ball game. Only six seconds on the shot clock. I don't know if they're aware of it. Four seconds. Down to two, and they say Francisco. Did I not? Oh, he got a lot. Coach Tobin Black has uh, sent in Alvin Patrimonio for Nelson. It's correct. Remember, there was a scramble for the loose ball recovery on the previous play. Yeah. Yeah. Na, he yeah. shot clock. It was only seven seconds when they threw in, but um, unfortunately, nobody told the players. Yes. Yeah. Offensive, Offensive foul on Alan Kaidik. I think the reason why Ato Augustine is not being used is uh, Ato still has fluid in his knees now. Uh -oh. And they do have a semi-final, uh, quarter-finals coming up. They do have a quarter-finals game, I think, on Tuesday. So that's the reason why he's being used sparingly in this match. No? And Ray Evangelista open but didn't take the shot. Boy beats Victoria. Here's Jose Francisco. Evangelista goes for it from top yeah. of the key. Yes. Sampu na lang ang lamang. 7.47. Oh. Natitira sa larong ito. Ba, malayo-layo pa yan. Yung sampu lang, eh, kaya yan. Kung sakasakali. Correct. Hawkins. Kumihit. Nakakuha ni Dennis Espino. Here's Jose Francisco. Nice look away pass oh. to Dennis Espino. From Francisco. At tumanaw na si Coach Norman Black. Nung tirador natin malaki dito na pamimigay ng mga t-shirts. Oh, mayroon nga si Michael Cooper, basketball player ako. Hindi oh. naman nakuwi lang tel eh. Kaya tatapon na lang niya ng kamay niya. Pinukul na lang. <laughs> Binato na lang yung uh, mga t-shirt. Umaabot sa bleachers, ha? <laughs> Lakas talaga. Ng pulso eh. Oh. Watch the screen, Albert. 93 to 84. Nine-point lead again by the veteran. Francisco. Francisco is starring for the All-Star RSJ. Kanina yun ang problema ng RSJ team. They couldn't hit from the outside. And their inside game couldn't go work against guys like uh, Teng Balingit who were controlling the inside game. Yeah. So Teng, by the way, is back there together with Magsano. So except for Balingit, top five are there. Uh, Patrimoja delivers the goods. But may problema. Oh. 85-87. Back to an eight-point lead here by the veterans. Five minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the game. Dennis Espino versus Jerry Cotillera. The tap by Jerry lands in Ronnie Magsanok's hands. Ronnie over to Alvin Teng. Out to Meneses. Look at the, at the veterans. They are back picking for each other. There, there's a lot of movement. Three-point shot here Whoa. by Magsanok. Busay. Sara with a triple V from top of the keyhole to put the veterans on top again by double digits. 11-point lead now by the red-shirted veterans, 98-87. Oh, yun ang sinasabi lang isang kisap mata. Apat na lang yan kanini. Jose Francisco on the run. Jose Francisco has 12 points all scored here in the fourth quarter. Ah. Backward play, but Patrimonio misses it. Alvin Teng grabs the rebound. Uh, Ray Bangilista called for the foul, his first. Pagsano has lost a lot of assists. Uh, he has given off terrific assist passes, which his teammates have not been able to convert yeah. on several occasions in this ballgame. We have a timeout called by... Alfred Helmet has just scored on a drive to put the veterans on top again by 11 points. Meanwhile, Jericho Diniela has called for a foul, his first. Four minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the game. Yes, That's game. right. I was just going to mention the time. It's still enough time, but it seems that every time the RSJ team comes closer to veterans, they play serious basketball, courtesy of Meneses, Patrimonio, Maxano, you know, Alvin Teng, and they, they seem to be able to get the lead when they want to. And the now, he's having more turnovers. Dr. J really hurting. RSJ. Oh. And here's Jun Lipot. Uh, 
Siyam na lang naman. But the RSJ should press right now. Mm -hmm. Time is running out on them, and they cannot allow the Red Shirts just to come in and set up a half court because they will use the clock, and they have a lot of mismatches. Katulad niya. Give and go. Patrimonio with a spin. Boom! Yes! Tuwa-tuwa uh, naman talaga. Itong uh, mga fans na nandito ngayon sa All-Star Game, mga kaibigan, talagang pinakikitaan sila ng kanilang mga paboritong players. This Dennis Espino was all alone. He has had three slump dunks in this quarter alone. Yeah. Huh? A two off a fast break and this one off a nice spin roll after a pick and roll. 102 to 93. Here's Meneses. Oh, Jumper is good. You know, Francisco can guard Kaidik very well, but he cannot guard Meneses because he sticks to Kaidik and takes away the three-point shot. But he cannot guard Meneses, who has a lot more moves than Allen. Eugene Lipot. Up against Jerry Cordillera. Lipot is underneath. Got Tang and Cordillera jumping and Referee Bernarte calls the foul on Jerry. That's going to be number two on Cordillera. Really a matter of pride there on that one-on-one -on -one play. Jerry wanting to prove he can defend against June. June wanting to show that offensive move. And a lot of people have still stayed here. We have our president is here, Mr. Bobo Bellas. Our Mr. Chairman. Ricky is, yeah, our chairman. Oh, okay. Our president, Mr. Ricky. Our producer, about Pin is back. Yeah. At uh, nakita natin itong mga tao dito po sa Coneta Astodo, mga kaibigan, talaga namang uh, ika nga sulit na sulit yung kanilang uh, ginastos para makapanood dito. Ang dami natin t-shirt pinamigay siguro, oh. pahigit Coneta. Oo, oh, ang dami nun. And of course, those for the family na to, to mm. able to come here from the provinces plus the free stay and everything. Oo, oh. talaga namang ito eh, ika nga eh, bilang ganti ng uh, PBA sa mga milyon-milyon na sumusuporta sa Liga. Ray Evangelista with a recovery and Boy Beats Victoria is fouled. Foul on Alvin Tank. Alvin Tank picks up foul number two. Nine point lead by the veterans. Uh, the rookies, sophomores and juniors were unable to get a taste of the lead. It's also, at this point. it's also too bad that Johnny couldn't play anymore oh, wow. after that injury. Johnny could have certainly helped. He could have scored and really quarter back the team. Uh, si Johnny is now on the bench and he's been busy. He's been a bit of a sprain on his left hand. You know what's funny is that it seems that the RSJ team needs six quarters. It's like they're going to warm up to get to know each other. You know? It only seems to be in this quarter that they're beginning to feel compatible with each other. Oh. Well, they've cut the lead down to seven again at 104.97. Two minutes and 14 seconds remaining. Berhel Menezes. He's taking charge. Bilang uh, abuloy at $2,000 para naman dun sa ating RP Boxing Team. So panawari po ninyo yan sa ating blow by blow. Pagkaraan po nitong uh, larong ito, pagkataas po ng larong ito ng uh, All-Stars. Last two minutes. Last two minutes Last two ng ating laro. Atin sa inyo ng extra strong, extra cool, fisherman's friend. Jeffrey Carriasso missing on a three-point try. Menezes couldn't hang on to it. A little long pass there by uh, Ronnie Maxano, who wanted to put the icing on the cake by oh. finishing off a fast break. They have a nine-point lead with a minute of 46, but that's just three three-point shots oh. or three three-point plays. Well, if it's Victoria inside to Julian Limbaugh playing above the rim. Yeah, I like that term, above the rim. Oh. Playing for all his money's worth. <laughs> I mean, he's really giving it all in this ball game. Real big heart on the part of Jun Lipot. Alam po rin naman ninyo na itong mga players na ito, eh, talagang malaking utang na loob sa inyo na mga sumusuporta sa PPA. Kaya naman uh, bigay todo rin sila maglaro. Ang ganda ng gulang na ginagamit ni Romy Magsano kay Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> But is double-teamed. But he scores anyway. Well, that's, that's the mismatch. Durendes and Francisco cannot guard Meneses. Oh. And every time they want to go to Meneses, as long as you don't take the ball out away from his hands, he's going to score. Well, Meneses already has the 26 points in the game. Boybits with a back pass to Durendes who misses. Patrimonio sees Ronnie Magsara up ahead. 
And Ronnie will go for it. Ginahanap pa niya si Teng. Sabi niya, sipa na. Ano ba hinatay mo? At saka na eh. 11 point lead by the veterans. And we have participants. So, dito po ang ating kasamang si Seb Sarmenta. Gentlemen, may we have you here para may present sa inyo ang mga medallions niyo. Jose Francisco, Jeffrey Cariaso, Chris Jackson, EJ File, Kenneth Durandes, Noli Loxin, Jun Limpot, Ray Evangelista, Johnny Abarientos, Boy Beats Victoria, Dennis Espino. Kapagang talagang matindi yung pilay ni Johnny Abarientos, inaalalayan siya ni Boy Beats at saka ni Dennis Espino at ika-ika pa itong si Johnny Abarientos. Okay, nakikita ko rin yun si Commissioner June Bernardino. Binibigay po ang mga medalyo para sa rookie sophomores and juniors. Kaya na sinabi natin, napakalaking rimati yun ng RSJ. Yeah, I mean, they'll be a better team, I think, if they could get more time to play with each other. You know, their comeback was anchored on the Santa Lucia players. They brought Francisco and Dennis Espino. So you can see these guys, they know each other, so they play well with each other. Kulang lang talaga sila ng laro and more teamwork and more set plays with each other. June really played a big game, Francisco and Espino. Johnny there. Oh, oh my God. Uh, we don't know, huh? Okay. Huh? When, if that uh, ankle is going to be that? anything serious. No? Oh, kasi yeah. talagang mukhang uh, masakit na masakit dahil uh, iikaika nga itong si Johnny Abarentes at kanina tinutulungan pa nung uh, ni uh, Boy Beats It's at ni uh, Dennis Espino. And thank you very much to our RS James Watt. At mga rookie sophomores and juniors. Commissioner really looking good there in the middle of this uh, RSJ team. Oh. It's a good match. I think they played with their hearts out. So, so ilang sakit mga kaibigan, makikilala na natin ang eh, most valuable player. Matindi-tindi yung uh, ginawa nilang uh, paghabol dun sa 25-point lead ng mga veterans. Thank you very much, so, RSJ. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, they're not veterans for nothing. They have a mismatch which they couldn't solve and that was Meneses. Now, if they got Evangelista maybe to guard him, they would have probably done a better job because you need a big guy that has quick lateral movement to be able to stop Meneses and he can stop the jump shot also. Well, Kung hindi man siguro to totally stop at least yeah, uh, limit. Yeah, limit no? because uh, oh. Meneses scored whenever it was needed. Oh, talaga. Lalong-lalong na dito sa endgame nung humahabol na yung RSJ. Correct. Talagang uh, they went to uh, Garhel Meneses. Ngayon naman po, ang uh, binibigyan ng mga medalyo ni Commissioner Jim Bernardino ay yung mga veterano. Tsaka ito, huwag siya magagalit sa akin. 1995. This is the best game Ronnie Magsanak has played for 1995. The whole season. I mean, he really was all over the place giving the ball. Took only two or three attempts from the three-point territory. Was really very happy when he made two of them. So, you could see that the game is still there. It's just that he's got to find the heart. And I hope he plays well in the coming quarterfinals as he prepares for the third conference. Well, they certainly will need a very good game from Ronnie Magsanak. At... Well, sabi nga natin, inspired uh, play by Ronnie tonight. Okay. Nagtatanong ganda kung sino yung MVP. Parang sisigawan na rito. Well, the guys that really played well were Meneses, mm -hmm. Alvin Teng, Alvin Patrimonio, and Ronnie Magsano yeah. for this team. Those four guys really played well in this uh, ball game. Balingit, okay. I think, also played well yeah. uh, as far as rebounding mm -hmm. is concerned. Pero kasali ako sa butuhan dyan. Tatong <laughs> newspaper man at saka ako. Okay. Kaya alam ko sinong binoto ko. <laughs> ang first in champion trophy para palapakan po natin ang veterans. Kaya po ang champion trophy, championship trophy na i-award sa veterans at ang uh, kukuha po ay Coach Norman Black. Oh, ba't ikaw? <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you. Oh, wait, yeah. Let's begin at the end. Okay, let's go. Dr. J from the Vintage Panel. Ladies and gentlemen, our most valuable player for the 1995 All Star Game Gilby's is. Gilby's choice player of the game. Berhel Menezes! Berhel Menezes scored 26 points, had four rebounds, four assists. To be adjudged as the. Gilby's choice player of the game.